Welcome everybody to Scott's Precision Manufacturing. I'm Derek Scott, the owner, part designer as well, and I want to tell you all about the Scott's Evolution Separator, uh, which is being manufactured here in Boston, in the United Kingdom. Uh, we've been producing this machine for quite a number of years, since 2006. It's developed a little bit each year. Uh, we're always looking to refine it. But really, I want to just tell you about how does it work, what uses is it for. So. Um, we do uh, two ranges of this machine, so today um, I'm just going to talk about the install version. We do a, a mobile version, if you like, which is hydraulically driven, which you would see in a potato harvester or in the field where it's, it's uh, moving through the fields and whatnot. And then the install version, which is what we've got behind me, is electrically driven, it's designed to fit in a food processing line of sorts, and um, it's electric driven and it's available in a lot of different sizes. So we produce this machine in fairly large numbers uh, and we can offer that between a metre working width all the way up to 2.9 metres on a single shaft. Um, and then we go from a single row to double to four to six to eight to ten, pretty much anything you need to see the conditions you're working with uh, one behind me is a six row system, probably the most common and um, it's, been a, it's probably been the most popular for most customers to use. Generally it's got that throughput for what most people are looking for. So um, what I want to do then really is just explain how it works. So I can show you that a little bit better if we look a little bit closer then at the roller system that's within the machine. So what I want to do is show you and explain how the machine does the job. Um, the design is to extract anything that's not wanted in your vegetable crop, whether it be potatoes or vegetables or whatever. And the way that works is we have a series of rollers. We've got alternate polyurethane, uh, soft, deformable uh, spiral rollers, which is what we've got my hand on. And then running in the opposite direction generally is this smaller steel or rubber um, clod roller, can be called a P-roller or a control roller, but the idea is between those two rollers we create a valley and in that valley we have the potatoes or the vegetables, the clods, the stones, the leaves, they will sit in that valley for a period of time moving down the table and as they're running in the opposite direction because we've got a tread pan with a specifically designed lip the idea is that that will find a corner or an edge on whatever's in the valley, grab hold of that and then eject it down through between the two rollers. So if you imagine a potato and a stone, they're quite different in shape, uh, not, sometimes not that different in size, but the thing with the potato is, and most vegetables, is they're generally round. So it's quite difficult for these ribs and rollers running against each other to actually pinch and grab that potato and pull it through. It's smooth and it generally slips against it. Imagine a bit of soil on there as well that acts as a bit of a lubricant, so it's quite difficult to pinch anything that's round and smooth. Whereas stones, clods, typically, even if they are quite round, they often have a square edge on there somewhere, same with the clods. And the idea there is that if they just land in the right place, Sometimes they have to turn a couple of times, sometimes they miss that valley and go into the next or the next, but sooner or later it's going to get the corner at the perfect time, it's going to pull that through. And because the spiral roller is hollow, so it has large air chambers inside, which I'll explain about a little bit later, um, it can then deform around the stone and just pop that stone out through the bottom without damaging the mechanism or pulling potatoes out with it. So generally speaking, we can pull the stone, the clod, the leaf gets extracted very quickly and very easily. Uh, each roller is like having its own little horn extraction system. So we, we're very, very efficient on haul. Um, loose soil, again, that will extract very, very quickly and very easily. Um, so providing whatever you want to take out isn't the same shape as a potato, sometimes we get large round pebbles where you can get that problem. Um, but generally speaking, 
we get superb cleaning. And that's how it works. So we'll move on to telling you a little bit how we set the machine up and whatnot, but that's the overview and that's how the machine does its job. <laughs>